work for the European Journalism Center, which is a non-profit institute dedicated to standards in journalism. But more simply, what we're doing is trying to help journalists do their job better by um, by uh, organizing trainings, conferences, seminars on skills, but also specific topics like uh, development or climate change and so on. Uh, I am working specifically on data journalism and uh, basically what we're doing here today is the first attempt to write a data journalism handbook. Uh, there are, uh, the aim of this handbook is to is to, is to help journalists who are interested in uh, getting started in data journalism uh, to give them, to give them a, a starting point. Uh, and basically there are a lot of useful resources on the web, there are a lot of uh, tutorials, there are a lot of tools for data analysis and data visualization, uh, but they are all scattered in different places. So what we're trying to do is to put everything together and have a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide that goes through through all the steps of, of data journalism. And uh, to do this, we managed to gather so far around 40 contributors. We have some of the best experts in the field from uh, from news organizations such as the New York Times, the Financial Times, the Guardian, uh, as well as uh, well-known journalism schools like the Medill School of Journalism or City University London. And we're what we're doing here today, we have so um, the contributors that are present at the Mozilla Festival are now working in teams on drafting chapters, but we also uh, invite people to contribute virtually. Uh, and the, the book is meant to be an ongoing process, so we're going to continuously update it and we're going to continue to receive contributions after the Mozilla Festival as well. Uh, you can find the handbook at datadrivenjournalism.net slash handbook.